Uh, um, Misfits and Bangers. Uh, it's pretty much our introduction to the to the world. Um, it's, it's basically introducing people to um, the style of music that God has kind of blessed us with. Um, it's gritty. It's um, some people can some people characterize it as like dark almost, but I mean we don't kind of delve in darkness. We we aim to bring people to the light, but the way we do it is a little bit different. It's a little bit off, and that kind of makes us misfits. But if, when it comes on and your head should be banging, then that's the banger part of it. Um, Misfits and Bangers. Um, I believe Misfits and Bangers is like, it's just like Misfits is just somebody who's an outcast, who doesn't, doesn't, um, <clears throat> people don't look at, like they turn away and they like, like they're a criminal or something. But we took it as like, we're outcasts to this industry. This industry don't actually want us. This industry don't want us because of what we believe, because of how we, um, who we are, like because of the things that we represent on you know, songs and different things like that. Um, and the bangers part is just the music that we create is incredible music, unskippable music, like we like to call it. Um, so we put those together, like we're outcasts that make incredible music. So we're misfits and we make bangers. Misfits and bangers to me is kind of that bridge between the saints and the sinners. You know, it kind of is everything that FMG represents that we might not be in the church house and we might not be where the steeple is, but we still go just as hard for God's word, but in our own way, in our own grimy, gritty way. Misfits and Bangers is showing you people that go against the grain but can still make good music. Misfits, because we go against the grain, and bangers for the good music. I think when you can put those two together, you can see exactly what our mindset is when we went into it. Misfits and bangers will be, to me, a classic uh, from FMG, from Freedom Music Group, and I think you always gonna remember Misfits and bangers and what we put into it for it to be the best that, that we got right now. A variety of, of different talents of our, our team. Um, you get to see a little taste of what everybody's passionate about, what everybody wants to do. You'll get a glimpse of everyone's individual style. Um, you can expect some misfits and some bangers. I feel like that's who we are. We are a bunch of misfits. We're not carbon copies of each other. We're all different, but we put this album together and it meshes well. So it's just a showcase of how different styles can come together and put a product out that I think personally is one of the best albums I've heard. Misfits and Bangers is just a project that's like, it's, it, it sets, sets apart from what everything else that's being put out. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's Christian music, but we're meeting people halfway. You know what I mean? We're not pressing God on them, we're not preaching to them, but we're, we're living off main, like mainly testimonies. You know what I mean? So it's basically like we're, we're, we're set apart from the world, you know what I'm saying? But we, since we're set apart from the world, people don't think that we can do, we can make hits. That's what, that's what it is. We're making bangers, we're making hits for the world, you know what I mean? We're not the only ones that can't, you know what I'm saying? We, we can do what everybody else can do, but better. It, it's, the title is even more than that. I know some people are, are wondering why I um, did the cover the way I did with the, with the kid with the mask, and I know that's a big question. And, the reason is, is because this is how this is how we see this industry. We really feel like the music that's being played on the radio that talks about girls and drugs and guns and all that, um, we feel like it's kind of corrupting the kids. Um, and I don't know if you know what a child rebel soldier is, but child rebel soldiers are kids that are kidnapped and they're trained to be fighters and they're trained to be killers. And they get so indoctrinated in it that they 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 become killers themselves, and that's kind of the metaphor for what we believe is happening with with the music industry, where these artists are training these kids at a young age to love money, to to chase after women, to 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 gangbang, to do all this stuff, and by the time they're adults, they become what they heard on the radio, and we just want to make music to snatch these kids out of that lifestyle, pull the mask off of their face, and help them to live a, a godly life. I mean, it's a it's a group that's going to make you proud, a uh, group that's going to make you laugh, a group that's going to make you smile, um, and you're just going to enjoy every track on that CD.
just because of who they are, not because of the music, not because of the beat, but because you know the hearts that are involved in that project. Misfits and Bangers is an awesome collaboration of, uh, gosh, you're gonna have spoken words, you're gonna have rap, you're gonna have singing. It's an excellent hodgepodge of great artists hitting a lot of, you know, a lot of different elements of hip hop, so. What's gonna separate FMG from what people have heard before is that, you know, whether you're ten toes down in your spirituality or if you're new to it or if you just never thought about it at all, it's definitely something um, that you will be excited about. You'll like it, appreciate it, and, and want to hear more of them. The whole album is, is hot uh, from the tracks that I've heard before. Uh, Craze, Word Up, Mario Andretti. I mean, those are just a couple of the tracks that are, that are just dope off the top, but the whole CD from cover to cover is, is hot. I'm excited about this project because I believe that God is going to do some really powerful things through hip-hop and through music, and that God is using this, this music to transform lives. A lot of things I like about FMG, I've heard a few of the songs uh, that, uh, that should be on the mixtape, as well as I believe uh, the upcoming album. I've heard uh, songs like Winning, uh, I've heard uh, Potty Mouth, I uh, really like that song a lot. Uh, and things I like about FMG is just the versatility, um, just the, the differences of styles uh, with the artists that are on FMG. Um, you know, I, I like the, the lyricism, the fact that, of course, the content is good, uh, but at the same time, God is being glorified, Christ is being glorified, but, you know, also just within that, just that there is good art. Um, that there, you know, that there's no lack of art, uh, no lack of artistry within it, but that, you know, everything pretty much is dope. Uh, that I, a lot of times, you know, it's something like I feel like I can, I can clean, I clean up my room sometimes listening to some of the songs uh, produced by FMG. And even furthermore, sometimes I've been able to just kind of ride in my car and uh, listen to them as well. I also like uh, their stage presence whenever they perform. And uh, just overall, they, there's some brothers, some cats that just really live for God. They really, um, you know, are, are practicing, you know, what they preach. Uh, but just beyond that, they love art. And uh, they love good art and they love to be excellent in their art to glorify an excellent God. Uh, so, you know, I know I'm going to definitely be uh, be uh, downloading uh, the mixtape once it drops and even furthermore, I'm definitely going to be copping the album when it comes out too. So I hope you do the same. I can't wait for the album uh, this upcoming Tuesday. Uh, it's going down. Please, please, please pick up a copy, listen to it. I swear you won't be disappointed. You will not be disappointed and tell a friend to tell a friend and, re and understand that after you listen to this album, I think you will look at Christian rap totally different, 100%. Uh,